A lot of us don't know the PC requirements we need for VTubing, and a lot of people are under the assumption that you could only VTube on a desktop PC. And that is why in today's video, I'm gonna show you what kind of computer you can get for VTubing on a budget. Make sure you watch until the end because you might be surprised. My name is Anubis Lives, and I am your VTuber Senpai. And on this YouTube channel, we cover anything and everything VTubing and soon to be VR related. If you happen to like today's video and found it useful, smash that like button. Leave me a comment down below what you thought about today's video or which is better, 2D or 3D VTubers. And if you like the content on this channel, please consider subscribing. I do have a goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So if you wanna see more future content, hit that subscribe button and well, Let's get into it. Now you're gonna run into a lot of computer experts out there that say that you need a $3,000 PC or a laptop, which is entirely not true. If you're still unsure on which computer to buy by the end of this video, feel free to stop by my stream. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday evening, so come on by, let's talk about it. Links from my Twitch and all my social medias down below. But what you will need is a computer or laptop that does fit in your budget. And another thing we need to consider is what you're gonna be using your computer for. What kind of VTuber are you gonna be? Are you gonna be one of those VTubers that are in just chatting, just looking at web pages and funny YouTube videos? Or are you gonna be one of those VTubers that plays a game in the background while you're VTubing? This does matter because if you are on a tight budget, we need to make sure we pick the right computer for you so we're not wasting any kind of money that we don't need to. So let's say our budget is extremely low. We can only afford 200 to say $300. So you see that we only have single core Celeron processors with approximately four gigs of RAM. Now, sometimes you can find smoking deals where you could get like, for example, a refurbished laptop that has an i5 in it. If you can do that, I would definitely suggest that you do do that. Now you're saying to yourself, it is impossible to VTube on something like that. Well, I'm sorry, you're wrong. What you're basically gonna do with a laptop of this caliber is turn it into an over glorified webcam, AKA a VTube in webcam. Go check out my video, VTube in Discord. It'll show you how you could turn any VTubing application into a virtual webcam. If you go check out my video, console VTubing on a budget, link up above, it'll show you how you can send your VTubing image onto a website like Go Light Stream and then restream that all the way to Twitch or YouTube. And the great thing about that as well is that you can send your Xbox or PlayStation footage to Go Light Stream so it doesn't tax any extra resources on your laptop. This method also works for desktop PCs in the rough price range that we're looking at right now. So this next category is for people that are gonna do light gaming and mostly just chatting. So AKA, you're gonna have your V2 model up and then a web page or YouTube video in the background. Okay, so now we're in the 500-ish price range. What you wanna do is maybe find something that has a little bit of extra power. For example, here, this one, that's for 591. Yes, it's sold out, but you can probably find it on deal again, but it comes with a GeForce GTX 1050, a dedicated video card. Now, depending when you watch this video down the road, system specs can change, but the core of it is you wanna find a laptop that has a dedicated video card, whether that be a 1050, a 2060, 3070, whatever, you wanna find something that has that dedicated video card so you can do some light gaming and not worry about sending it to a website like Go Light Stream. And by light gaming, I mean games like Dead by Daylight, Seven Days to Die, stuff like that. Games that aren't too taxing on the system and will actually allow you to use some of the resources on the video card for your VTubing software. Now, everything that I've covered here also applies to desktops as well. So if you can find a desktop that has some of these specs inside of it, it's gonna work just as good. Okay, now let's say we have some money to spend. Let's say we have over a thousand to $1,200. Let's see what kind of laptops we can choose for VTubing. Okay, so we're here in the thousand dollar price range-ish. What we wanna find is something that has pretty good specs all the way around. So we got, for example, here an Intel Core i7, 16 gigs of memory, a NVIDIA GTX 1650Ti. I think right here is probably something you wanna look at, something that has a decent amount of memory, a decent processor, which is our i7, and a decent video card, which is our 1650. 
And if we go up just a little bit more for 1149, we can grab an i7 with a 2060 and 512 gigabyte SSD. Not only will that allow us to VTube and game on the same PC, but it will also allow us to, well, do things like play games such as PUBG, Rainbow Six Siege, games like that, more intense games. Now, if you have more than $1,200 to spend, what I highly suggest you do is actually go for a custom built PC. A custom built PC is actually going to be the best bang for your buck. The reason for that is because you get to choose the exact components that go into the computer itself. And by controlling exactly which components go into that computer, you get to control how much you're going to actually spend on that PC. And by controlling that, you can maybe possibly save money for gear such as a microphone, webcam, or other items you may need for your stream or avatar. But at the end of the day, all this is up to you. So if you have any questions or concerns, feel free again to jump into my stream. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday evening. So come on by, say hi. Let's talk about VTubing, anime, gaming, whatever. And well, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.